These athletes have described how Jesus enriches their lives, but exactly how does Christ fit in with wrestling? One, one issue for me is pressure uh, in competition. When I compete, I tend to put too much pressure on myself. And the best way for me to alleviate that pressure, to take the pressure off my shoulders, to give me the freedom to compete, is the confidence I have in, in uh, my relationship with Christ. My faith in Christ has definitely given me an advantage in, in, my, in my confidence, in my ability to relax um, in, in, in stressful situations. Um, my my awareness, I just feel it. I definitely feel like I've been um, lifted to a higher level. As a Christian, we're supposed to try to do our best in everything we do. Wrestling, it's pretty much you get out of it what you put into it. And so uh, the Bible says, whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord. <laughs> that TV monitor in Montreal, and Jim McKay coming on and saying in a minute we're going to switch to the Maurice Richard Arena and watch John Peterson attempt to win the gold medal. I was distracted by what he said and I started thinking about you know, all the fears, but immediately I could switch, switch my thinking and say, you know, I need to think about what's true. I need to think about the facts. The fact is I've trained, I've prepared for this moment, then I can leave it in God's hands, the fear of failure, which uh, so destructive to so many athletes. I think everybody needs Christ. I think everybody has to have that opportunity to uh, experience the Lord and have the opportunity to choose faith. I've had a number of great athletes who have been very, very strong Christians. And they just seem, when they walk out on the wrestling mat, to believe in themselves, that they're capable of getting it done. Most of them have won, but when they lose, they still deal with it in a much more positive fashion than a non-Christian. I just, I've seen it many, many times. Not only does Christianity fit with wrestling, it gives these athletes the security and fulfillment in life that only Christ Jesus can give. And when I got the gold medal, uh, that was exciting. But I can't take that gold medal with me when I die. When I die, I'm gone. But if I know the Lord Jesus, I know I'm going to live eternity, in, in eternity. He's promised us eternal life. Um, there's a real security there. Every person is looking for security, sense of meaning and purpose in life. Uh, the boycott of the 1980 Olympic Games uh, affected me tremendously. I had uh, geared my whole life around being an Olympic champion. And I got beat in the finals of my senior year, and I, that really brought me to thinking about life and what it was all about. I never... I never wanted to be bitter because I, I, I felt thankful for what I had achieved up to that point. When that happened to me, it was like something, something struck me, that there was more to it than, than wrestling. The, the wrestling wasn't satisfying. One of the biggest turning points in my Christian life was when I achieved my goal of becoming a national champion. It forced me to... Uh, to maybe not be proud. I mean, I was thinking that I deserved to be an Olympic champion because that's kind of well, the image that I, that I had of myself. And that's an image that I wanted people to view of me. And, and maybe that was maybe that was a lesson that God was trying to teach me. I expected from wrestling what only God can give me. Um, having a relationship with God through Jesus Christ uh, gives a life meaning and fulfillment, and I was looking in a different avenue. A uh, new pastor came to town about then, and, I, and I'm Methodist, and uh, he was really into scripture. He was really into uh, turning your life completely over to Jesus Christ, and that had a, a big effect on me. My grandmother was taking me to church at a young age, and uh, I always thought I was a Christian, and then uh, Billy Graham crusade in Boise, Idaho in 1982, I believe, set me straight. And uh, ever since then, I've been walking with the Lord. Jim, what do you believe? So I got down on my knees and I went through those verses again, you know, knowing that I'm a sinner, for all of sin and come short of the glory of God. What the consequences for that sin is, for the wages of sin is death. What do you believe, Jim? I believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for me and that because of my belief in him, I'm going to heaven and I can know that for a fact.
I remember asking Christ in my life when I was about 12 or 13 up at a uh, church camp uh, up in the beautiful shining mountains of Montana. As a junior high boy, I put my trust in Christ. Uh, I remember struggling over that uh, some before and uh, never wanting to tell others about it. Afterwards, I wanted to tell other people of my faith in the Lord. The pastor there um, explained how I could personally know Jesus Christ and accept him as my Lord and Savior, and uh, I did at that point in time. You know, my family basically was a church-going family my whole life. But my freshman year in high school, at that Bible study, is when uh, I truly asked Christ into my life to be my Lord, my Savior. I had Christ in my life when I was in the eighth grade at a, uh, a, a Christian cowboy retreat is what it was. When I was young, uh, I, I did ask Christ into my life. But it was after that, it was a gradual process of, of learning the importance of the decision I'd made and being able to commit my life more and more to Christ. I think it's important that uh, we try to walk with the Lord every day. You are stronger uh, in every way because you have Christ in your life, not weaker. Meek doesn't mean weak. It means looking out for those who are hurting, and that's strength. That carries throughout no matter what you do, that you need to do your best and be competitive and give God the honor and glory for doing it. I know from my own personal experience, that um, looking for happiness uh, or fulfillment through winning championships uh, will never last. Uh, I see it all the time. Uh, one minute you're a hero, the next minute you're a loser. You know, and if, if uh, your self-worth and your meaning in life is tied up to sport, is tied up with sport, uh, you're bound for 